Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokalever, and yes, the Marine Sim is playing in the background. It is kind of loud. So, it's been a while since I've actually, excuse me, been able to, you know, talk to you guys. I've been away, uh, mostly where my mouse is. Well, really over here. But, um, anyways. So, okay, so I made like six episodes in a single day, which was fine, totally fun. But the day after I left is when Kaiser Ike had a surprise update. And because of that, my old save wouldn't work, and I don't really feel like I have to uh, revert my Kaiser Ike mod back to when I originally started. So basically, what I'm trying to say is I completely restarted the campaign, starting right back in the beginning, 1936. Right now, you can tell it's December 3rd, not where we left off last time. It's December 3rd, 1940, instead of June 1st, 1940. But this is immediately after I left, or won, the Civil War again as a combined syndicate of America. Right now, you'll see that I have Smithley Butler. Um, I have some soldiers in Mexico, which I'll explain shortly. He's extremely strong, and to show you that I've not been uh, doing any questionable stuff, look at the, my generals. Smithley Butler is level 7, Oliver Law is level 6, Herbert Charles Heitke is 8, 7, 6, 6, 5, 3, and I even had someone over here. Right now, I'm kind of waiting for my soldiers to demobilize or let the militias go back home, but this is literally right after my civil, after I won the Civil War. And yes, I might be a little bit out of breath. I just did a couple push-ups. Yeah, anyways. um, So I do have a couple ships. I've been trying to make a couple more ships since I took out New England. Now, with my Civil War that I literally just did, that I finished up before I started recording this. So in this Civil War, Tennessee didn't join the uh, Huey Long's party, the American Union state. However, New England, they didn't go to Canada. Canada said, no, nah, we don't want you, which is extremely surprising because in every single time I play Kaiserreich, they always join Canada or become, you know, New England. But in this case, they didn't. They were joined by the, or they joined the federal government or stayed with the federal government. And actually, that wasn't too much more difficult than before. Um, it was very interesting though. I kind of wish I showed you it, but you know, I've already showed you one Civil War. We'll come back and play as the Combined Syndicates of America again someday, but we are not done yet because this focus tree is a little different. Also, oh wait, oh good, 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 good. good. So this focus tree, we used to have two options for the army, the Combined Syndicates army. And right now, can I do this? American Civil War is over. I guess it's not over yet until, huh. And we still have the Second Constitutional Convention. Someone did say that they want me to go Radical Socialists. Well, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to go Radical Socialists. I'm going to be Radical, just not a Socialist. You know, I might go with <clears throat> uh, Totalists. Yeah, mm, yeah, Totalists. Yeah, sounds like fun. But, yeah, that's... I'm a little... I'm kind of disappointed a little bit in this focus tree. I haven't honestly gone through this at all. But I miss... Having the options of having two different army paths that you can take as combined syndicates of America. I'm not saying this is bad at all. It just, if you take a look through these focuses or foci, they're not extremely interesting. But, you know, whatever. What can you do? Ooh. All right. Anyway, so we got a couple events here. So America is finally liberated. At long last, all of America is now part of the combined syndicates of America. The revolution has achieved its a major victory, and the people have been unshackled from the chains of capitalism. All of our waving the red flag of socialism from California to New York Island. While the scars of the revolution are everywhere, everywhere we can look forward to bringing the revolution to everyone. Is this my core yet? As a colony. This land is your land. I've heard that song so many times. Oh nice, the foreign claims went away. Last America standing. It is the beginning to dawn upon our citizens that the American Civil War is actually over. Go figure. Oh, um, let's go here. Uh, the scars from the fighting will last for a long time, but it seems as if the feeling has already started to sink in that any chance to change America's destiny further has passed. We are now and forevermore the combined syndicates of America, and the sh world should know that it is so. And I will show you, of course, the rest of the world, which is a giant mess, which is honestly a quite radically different from where I left you last. The end of the Second American Civil War. What could have been the greatest capitalist oppressor of the 20th century is now firmly under the control of the working class. Throughout this country, the working class celebrates its liberation from the 
depredations of the bourgeois masters. While there's still much to do, today we can celebrate this victory and savor the air of an America where, for the first time, each man is truly equal. But just remember, kids. Oh god, that's terrible. Look at the, the effects. Oh no. Everyone is made equal, except some people are more equal than others. Wink, wink. Alright, so that made me really demobilize. However, honestly, a lot of my divisions, they're actually pretty good. They're actually pretty darn good. Uh, let's see, you guys, you six are... Ah, you are the old type of infantry. This infantry division I'm converting my divisions to are is this one, which is 7-2, seven, 7 infantry battalions, 2 artillery, with signal companies. I decided to try something a little different. So we got some signal companies here. And I've left open one more slot, probably for field hospitals or probably logistic companies. Cool. And we still got other stuff here. I'm not using this anymore, so we don't really need that. Actually, I want to keep. Actually, I want to keep this. I have 500 army XP, so I'm going to go ahead and make this into a garrison division for the coast and whatnot. You know. Oh, whoops. Don't want to do that. Uh, signal company. That really probably isn't needed. So that's cool. So you will be the coasts. You know, I'm actually going to give you different template. I never changed the default symbol. Uh, what says I'm on the coast? Um, let's see. I, let's do this one. This one looks kind of funny. It's like a cat or something, like a devilish cat. Update. Cool. Uh, you are set on low. That's good to be that. Yeah, you know, upgrades that can be fine. Let's crank this up to six, and I'm going to put you under him. Yeah, a lot of these guys got really badly hurt. However, Edward A. Carter Jr. is honestly, you know what, we really don't need him here. Go ahead and do that. Just combine under this guy, because in the last time we played this, Benjamin Katine was like my best general, but obviously he's not right now. He's only, he's level 5. It's not bad at all. It's actually really good. But he's nowhere near this guy. Oh my gosh. He's level 8. Look at all these traits he's got. So many traits. He's inflexible strategist, he's a planner, or organizer, I mean, infantry leader, skilled, sta skilled staffer, trickster, mountaineer, ranger, urban assault specialist. This guy, he held on to Pittsburgh like 17 times. Like, I literally lost all of Pennsylvania, except for Pittsburgh, like three times. It was ridiculous. And they nearly took it seven times. Yeah, I know. Defending it three times, and nearly taking it, and then the Federals nearly taking it seven times, makes perfect sense to me. Just go, go along with it. But, my goodness. Absolutely nuts. Okay, so here's the rest of the world. As we are reeling from the effects of everything else, ooh, the dust settles. Yeah, let's get rid of war syndicalism. Uh, devastation, overwhelming Federalist, longest resistance. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, this is new. Industrial juggernaut, that's definitely new. Uh, let's see, war syndicalism. Hmm, factory output. I'm trying to build a lot of civilian factories, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't want to repair infrastructure, which is good and all, but... We won't really need that much. I'm going to do one more. Yeah, do Ohio. Ohio, Wisconsin, Illinois have been so good to me. So good. All right, so here's the world. I'll show you the faction map mode first. So, Iberia actually, once again, was taken out by the Radical Socialists by the uh, CNT-FAI. Go figure. Third International's here. Uh, Socialist Republic of Italy. Of course, Union of Britain. And before you guys join, the Republic of France, you know, the Africa... The French state that was in Africa actually capitulated to the Commune of France. Go figure. Uh, let's see, we have Egypt, Tripolitania, Arabia, the Entente. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the Reichspact. So, initially, this looks weird. Poland's here, but they rebelled, they went nationalist, rebelled against Germany, and were promptly destroyed. And so Germany now owns Krakow, as well as Plock. Uh, obviously, Germany right now, or the Reichspact, is at war with Russia, but they're not doing great. Yeah, they lost most of Ukraine. Ooh, that's not good. And Finland, while it began as a little thick boy with Surotsk, as well as Petrozavsk, I don't, I don't know how to say that. Petrozavodsk. Yeah, it looks like it's dying. Go figure. So, that's pretty much the Reichspact. It's getting whooped on both sides. Third International has actually pushed into Germany quite a bit. Not too much, but quite a bit. But Russia is also in a two-front war against, I think, Mongolia? I think as well? Yeah, you're fighting the Russians. Are the Japanese fighting somebody? They're fighting the Reichspact as well. So, Russia's on a two-front war. Germany is on a two-front war. Austria went absolutely nuts. So, they had two Sicilies in their faction. They, I don't know what happened. 
but they took over Romania as well as Bulgaria and Serbia and Albania because Kaiser Karl, bless his freaking heart, I love this guy, but he's just nuts. He was so good in, in this time. I mean, wh where'd they go? Do, do we know what way they went? They went with social conservatism. Oh, they went with status quo, which is unfortunate because I would love to see a United States of Greater Austria, but they do have basically Sicily, or two Sicilies, I guess, and, and Northern Italy, so whatever. Um, anything else to talk about? There's Entente, Inter Eastern Syndicalist Union with Burma, as well as that part of India, the Reichs Pact. Oh, Qing China joined the Reichs Pact. AOG is here. Uh, East German Asia is here, trying to fight off the co-prosperity sphere. So the Entente with National Populist uh, Australasian Confederation. Go figure, and I think that's mostly it. Also, I do want to tell you one more thing. It's This game's getting pretty laggy already. We don't have a lot of stability or political power. But in Mexico, last time I think we thought they were some left-wing. They might have been syndicalist. Right now, they're National Populist with a large majority of left-wing uh, ideologies. Under Jose Antonio or or Quiza, or Quiza. So honestly, I could probably, yeah, I could definitely take him out. You know what? I might. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I need more political power. Dang it! I wanted. I'm going to take out Mexico and make them. I'm going to have Mexico build a wall to Mexico, and then they're going to pay for it as I take them out. Sure, let's do that. But um, yeah, it's been one hell of an adventure since I left and have come back. And of course, Kaiserich would have surprise update after I left. Go figure. And there goes the fins. Cool. Uh, still, only four research slots. Uh, actually, I'm really out of artillery. Holy crap. I've been trying to build, you know, carrier. A couple screens. Um, let's see. Where's my infantry? Oh, you, oh, you have no... Oh, no. Um, reduce that. Reduce that for now. Reduce that for now. Reduce that by now. Yeah, I need a lot of artillery, but I might not need that many. And, they, and I did remember, Kaiserreich did separate a lot of different things. Like, the music mod that was for it, that I have it on, has been separated into three different groups. So, actually, I have all three on now. So, just keep in time with what Kaiserreich is up to. We're doing that well. Just do that. I don't think we really need too many naval bombers. I don't think we need 65 factories on guns, though. Do 15 and then do that. That'll be good. Cool. And right now we are basically just rebuilding. Uh, overwhelming longest resistance. Ugh. I do want to take out Mexico though. That is really my goal. Um, for right now. Oh, you have no location sent. Do New Orleans. Missouri. Uh, let's go down here and I'll put you on this guy because you got up to 30. Who is this? Maurice Rose. Very cool. Obviously, we got a lot of manpower, but we are demobilizing, especially from the effects of the Civil War. I was... Oh, wait. I was on War Economy. No, I was on Total Mobilization. And I was also on Service by Requirement. Go figure. Oh, we get 0.82 a day. Steve Nelson. Steve Nelson, you're costing me things. Which one is Steve Nelson? I don't remember selecting you, but you know what? You are a Totalist. Wait, Harry Haywood, didn't he... No, it was Bill Haywood that died, I think. Big Bill Haywood died earlier. Yeah. This one's good. Michael Gold? Medium Magnet? He's a good totalist. You get more consumer goods, and you get more political power. For this one, we will remove War Syndicalism, which is fine. But yeah, this game is lagging pretty hard. It, oh, it's pretty laggy, but that's okay. You know, games lag from time to time. Refitting two ships, refitting some of these destroyers that I do have that did a pretty good job. They're veterans. I mean, they killed, like, they literally killed my entire navy. 50, they killed 50 convoys were selling, that were from the Pacific states, of all things. I don't know why it was from the Pacific states that were over here around the coast of Florida, but they were. So, go figure. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, it was, it was a little bit of a chore, I'm not going to lie. Playing for three hours, maybe not straight, but for about three hours to re get to where we left off. But, you know, I always enjoy playing or trying different takes on how to win the second American Civil War. So, not too bad, not too bad overall. We're still, I mean, I've got 100, 194 civilian factories. So, I mean, it could be way worse. I'm building a lot of military factories. I'm building some naval dockyards. 
repairing all this damaged infrastructure. And I do want to build some more refineries just to get a little bit more rubber for ourselves. Because as much as we have oil, that's okay. Nice. The dust settles. Great. We get a little more political power. We don't get a bonus to building military factories, but we don't get a debuff to building civilian factories now. So that's actually not... Oh! Well, I like this. The Constitutional Convention begins. What's... Ooh, rebuilding the country. Oh, this is good. Socialist Revolution. Oh, there's so many focuses I want to do. Oh, my goodness. Talk to the... Oh, it's... Oh, my... oh for two years? You can build a really good navy. I'm going to wait to do that just because uh, I need more dockyards first before I really want to focus on producing stuff and researching more things. Lessons from the revolution. This is basically... This is in the wrong place in my opinion because I'm almost done with my land doctrine. I got two more, which I guess it's not too bad since this is two land doctrines, but incorporate them? Disband them. Uh, if I disband them, I get a massive bonus to building things. Experience soldiers lost. Uh, actually, I like both. Those are not bad. Fuel the revolution, fuel capacity, Pacific focus. Uh, it's not bad. Anti-tank brigade, armored thrust. Um, I mean, this is stuff. This is all right stuff. Rebuilding the country. Do I have a focus that could give me another research factory? Oh, I need to do this. Destroy long terrorists and stuff like that people. Oh, wait, there's a research slot right here. Revolutionary education. I would want that. Yeah, none of these recoveries. Over equality for all and then new America. That's cool. Constitutional convention begins. Has been completed. Ruling party is totalist. Hmm. If I can't go totalist, then, you know, so be it, but I want to rebuild the country so I get more population, more stability, and war support first, and then we'll do the convention. It is 1941, though, guys. Hope you're having a great, great year. Let's see, what is this? Industrial trigger, not... American Commissars. Mobilization speed, plus 15%. Dradi nudum, der Commissar getum. Well, I said that terribly. Oh, my goodness. Ah, but that's alright. That's totally alright with me. Yeah, France is not doing too badly. I suppose I could send them volunteers, but I have an enemy on my... Southern Port. Oh, yeah, we really hate them. I need six more political power, and then I can probably ensure that my southern border is okay. I don't think anyone's going to guarantee Mexico. No one cares about Mexico. Oh, Morocco's gone. Yeah. Commonwealth of Canada. I'm very surprised that they did not take out New England this time. Oh, no. Long is bombing. That sucks. But, uh... Hmm. Got a lot of fuel. No, oh, Whatever. Uh, I need, I think, one more political power, so... Yeah, there we go. Cool. And I will puppet New puppet Mexico when I'm done. Because I think they... Did they have claims? They have claims on California? Yes, they do. And I gotta take them out because of that now. You're not... This is America. You are Mexico. There is no a Mexico. You are just Mexico, not a America. Cool. Dreadnought... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, okay. They went to war with Costa Rica down here. Central American Confederation. Uh, I could put more s dockyards for my screens, but I really need more capital ships, which I can only make dreadnoughts. Hmm. You know what? It might not be a bad idea to make better subs, perhaps? Subs to the... Actually, these subs aren't too bad, actually. Sonar? Uh, you can see subs, but... You really don't need too much anti-air. You don't use subs to kill other subs. So we're going to replace that. Other than that, that's actually not completely terrible. Let's go ahead and try to make some more subs. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Combined syndicates. I definitely need some more chromium, though. And I'm going to actually put you in LA. Get a little bit more chromium from... Who can use it? Oh, yeah. Um, Greece went syndicalist. So there's that. AOG, you know, we'll, we'll help out the Greeks if we can. Definitely take some of your goods. Thank you very much. Oh, and you still don't have enough. God dang it. Uh, who uses chromium? I mean, improved dreadnoughts. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll get one or two more from you. Cool. As long as we are producing things, I'm fine with that. 
Yeah, that's not great, but oh, 1985, Jesus. That's a little far away, my friend. Yeah, just gotta rebuild the country, get more stability, get more war support, you know, get all the good stuff. All that they're good stuff. And I have been trying to research a lot of my air doctrine as well since I was using my planes quite a bit. Army 1. Uh, I got some heavy fighters. I haven't done very much. Oh no. I gotta make sure that uh, we get rid of some of this garbage. Carrier fighters. Uh, actually, since I'm making carriers, I'm gonna get rid of... I don't need them. I'm not gonna have carriers for a while. Pea shooter can go away. Transport plants can go away. Strategic bombers. I'm gonna keep, but not really. I just lied. Uh, heavy tanks. Trying to fight heavy tanks with only guns is pretty difficult, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of those and save that group. Carrier naval bombers. We'll get there eventually. You guys, doesn't matter. Whatever. We are out of artillery, which is fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you split off and come to him. Because why not? Yeah, I could probably grind out more XP, but whatever. That's alright. We've got time. We definitely have quite a bit of time. Hmm. Yeah, keep building up military factories. We get, we definitely need them. Actually, could I start a... I could... Uh, how many days? I really kind of want to know how they're doing. Mexico, how long will that take? Oh, we got... Oh, my God. How many divisions can I send? Four. Give me like four divisions or something here. We'll put you under Tisa. I don't know. I'm gonna send you these four divisions just because I want to. Cool. Uh oh. Greece. Greece. I mean Hellenic Union. Guys, guys. I I chose you for a reason. Oh, Baratia Communia, I can help them too. Let's do that. Nice. And is this still on 1946? That's much better. Much, 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 much better. Even though it does hurt our capabilities to produce more things. But whatever. Things happen. Kingdom of Dahomey. Oh, yeah. So Middle Africa also did explode. So that's why it's kind of disgusting here. But things are shaping up to be maybe a little bit better than it was earlier. Not really sure. Don't really care too much. It's Africa. No one cares about Africa. But it looks like the French, the, the commune of France, is doing very well. And um, they, I guess they are totalists, yeah. Yeah, man, totalists. Well, they got quite a bit of manpower, extensive, extensive conscription. Germany has quite a bit of manpower, as well as extensive conscription. Uh, let's see, what else they got? Finish ship payments. Oh, cool. Uh, as I'm talking or playing this right now, someone just subscribed to me. So thank you for the subscription, whoever you are. I don't want to read out your name because I don't want to say who you are. Just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed as well to me so far. So I really do appreciate it. It's interesting watching like every day I come back. There's like I get one more subscriber. So that actually sounds pretty cool. Pretty good actually. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. How is Greece doing? An efficient navy. They're fairly cynical. And he's got a smile on his face. He must be having a good life. Not bad, man. Power for Greece. They are on service by requirement. And I've arrived in Normandy. Memories of the King. Path of Diplomacy. A legacy of Alexander. Oh. Awesome. Uh, how can I help? I have sent my one of my worst generals to you, which he's level 3, so he's actually not bad. But uh, are we attacking? Are they attacking us? I want to guard Brussels. So go ahead, guys. Guard Brussels. We've got more than enough supply of everything. God dang it. Federal is bombing. What a bunch of terrorists. Uh, we definitely need more artillery, though. Hmm. 25. Yeah, we'll get out of that deficit soon enough. All right. Very good. Very good. Are you attacking? You might be actually be attacking. Yeah, I think you're attacking. Uh. Okay, you took a while to get over here, but that's fine. That's fine. You know, no problem. No problemo, my friends. Rebuilding the country. God, it's kind of laggy. <laughs> oh, John Jack Reed. Economic devastation. Recovering from the Civil War. Wow, minus 50% stability. No wonder it's so low. Uh, forced to, People are forced to barter. Forced to barter. Electricity, running water, and other basic services barely function, and millions are starving or ill, especially the thousands and thousands of orphans. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll set up a good welfare state to make sure that all people 
especially the young and the poor, are taken care of. Uh, since we did that, factory repair speed, gain, nat gain national spirit reconstruction, we can produce civilian factories very quickly. Huh. Or socialist revolution. Deal with the American first. I want to do this, but I also want to do the second constitutional convention just to get things rolling along. So let's do that next. And yeah, it does take 70 days, which is really freaking long. But that's alright. We do have 22% stability now, and I think that only affected economic devastation? Or was it overwhelming? No, 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 it wasn't that. Slight recovery from the Civil War. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, we are building more things. Um, I do want to build more civilian factories, though. 200, or roughly 200. Not enough for me, man. I love my factories. But let's go ahead and put another military factory down. It's 40... 40%? Oh, Kentucky. Yeah, I'll do Kentucky then. That'll be fine. One over here. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. That looks pretty good. Alright, so it looks like the Commune of France is trying to... No. No. Guys. Gu Greece. Greece. Baby. You're killing me. Thank you, India. You are the real India. Thank you for being a great partner. Zambia was annexed. Very good. Hopefully this will... Hopefully everyone will just kill each other here and uh, just make the game speed up just a little bit more. Come on, Sudvest Africa. You can do it, right? You can reunite Middle Africa. Lack of industrialization. I really wish that Kaiserreich would get a good focus tree for Middle Africa, or at least a good one for Sudvest Africa, no matter how long the game will last, so that you can rebuild Middle Africa. Um, and yeah, it does, it does have its own focus tree, which is great, unlike Hungary, but... I want to see, like, this to get, like, at least claims all over Af Africa and just, like, be able to rebuild Africa into its own kind of nation or something like that. Wow, this is disgusting. It's like a giant blob in the center here. But then Russia's like, nope. But whatever. But the, the commune of France is actually doing pretty well. I'm really surprised. Last time we played this, I don't think they were doing this well. I can't even remember. It's been so long. Oh my goodness. Okay, they just keep taking more, and I've finished with Atomic of Research. Lovely. Uh, Max Factories in State? Sure. Forward Observers? Great. I'm actually not going to do any more land auctions until I get that focus done, so then we can start focusing on other things. Awesome. Wait. Forward Observers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's good. I do definitely need another research slot, but that, of course, can wait for the future. Great. Great, great. We want. Let's go ahead and get this. Assembly line production. More efficiency production cap. Good, good, good. Keep building, guys. God, it is laggy. Oh, we are getting attacked because my allies have decided to take more. Cool. These Germans are getting very injured. I'm not... Yeah, yeah. Help out. Yeah, why not? Longest bombing. God dang it. Stupid longest. Uh, for you guys. 1941. There's nothing really here. Support companies. Yeah, I could do that. I could do tanks. I've done nothing with tanks. Artillery, I can do stuff with art artillery. Uh, oh, I need to do stuff with ships. Dang it. Let's do this. Yeah, I, four research slots are really just a standard. When I was actually, since I was away, I did play the American Second American Civil War with the most recent Kaiserreich update. I played as American Union State, and it was beyond easy to play as, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I remember the days when playing as the American Union State in old Kaiserreich, or maybe even like 0.5 or something, 0 0.5 for Kaiserreich. It was, in my opinion, fairly difficult to play as the American Union State, but now it was actually pretty easy if you go down and get everyone's help from the Silver Legion and other people like that from the business plot people. So that was pretty easy. I also played as Austria in the Road to 56 mod, trying to reunite the Holy Roman Empire, as well as the Austro-Hungarian Empire as well. Trying out different things, just seeing what the next campaign might be, which I already pretty much have already decided what it will be. But for this campaign, I don't want a full-scale, global, syndicalist, totalist type of revolution. As much as fun as that would be. I mean, that would just mean right now we're in the early middle game, and it's already chugging, man. This is, Kaiserreich is just a chugger. That sounds really bad. I apologize, actually, if that's offensive or anything like that. I didn't mean to be offensive, but you know what I mean. It just chugs so hard. It's so laggy. Can't wait for that update where, you know, Hoi 4 
is actually on system 64 or you know 64 bit hopefully it'll be able to run so at least a little bit more smoothly I could finally hopefully use all eight 16 gigs of my RAM well at least more than four at least but anyways uh, we are running out of time today guys I just it seems like a, just a lecture from me, just mono monologues from me all this time. But that's totally fine with me. That's what you come for. But, like I said, that's all the time we have for today. It looks like the Union of Britain has gotten invaded. Good luck, guys. And we're just kind of waiting for a second constitutional convention as we are slowly, slowly rebuilding America and justifying on uh, Mexico, who has given a lot of docking rights to left-wing countries despite them being national populist mexico i think you're a little confused but with that my guys thank you very much for watching leave your comments below leave a like if you like the video subscribe if you're new and i will see you tomorrow as i will do these videos once again on a daily basis thanks guys for watching